all right welcome everyone to my class today we have a very nice exponential question how do we solve this the question is 9 to the power of x minus 10 times 9 to the power of minus x equal to 9 what there will be the value of x all right so let's take our solution solution to our problem we put down the question the question x 9 to the power of x minus 10 times 9 to the power of minus x equal to 9. Okay, how do we solve this? The number one thing we're going to do here is to eliminate this negative exponent. Okay, according to the law of indices, it says that if you have your a to the power of minus s, this is same thing as 1 all over a to the power of x. So the 1 and the division sign has taken place of the negative here. So we can rewrite this in this format. And so this will now give us 9 to the power of x minus 10 times 1 all over 9 to the power of x equal to 9. Easy. The next thing we do here, we're having a fraction here. So how do we handle this fraction? We multiply everything here by 9 to the power of x. So let's do that and see what this gives us. And so this, we now have 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of x minus 10 times 1 all over 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of x equal to 9 times 9 to the power of x. Mind you, I'm using dot here. Dot also means multiplication. Okay, so what we do here is easy. According to the law of indices, this we becomes your 9, because we add the two powers since the basis are the same. Okay, so if we add them, then we're going to have this to be 2x there minus this 9. We go with this 9. We're left with 10 times 1. And this will give us 10 equal to here we're left with 9 times 9 to the power of x. Easy. We could as well use the uh, power law here. Here we have a visible one. We add 1 to this x here. But that will give us some challenge here. So what we do here now is move this term on the right hand side to the left hand side. So we're going to have this to be 9 to the power of 2x minus here we have 9 dot 9 to the power of x minus 10 equal to 0. Yeah, we can split this power here. Okay, according to the law, we says that if you have a to the power of m n, this is equal to a to the power of m bracket or to the power of n. So if we succumb to this law, we can rewrite whatever we have in here now. So this will now give us here. 9 to the power of x or to the power of 2 minus 9. Here we are having 9 to the power of x. Here we are also having 9 to the power of s. So let's put this in bracket. Bracket minus 10 equal to 0. Okay. So here we're not having 9 to the power of x. Here we're also having 9 to the power of x. So at this point, we bring in another alphabet to represent this. So let's proceed on this side here. Okay. So yeah, we can say let um y let's bring in y this time y be equal to nine to the power of x. So wherever we see our nine to the power of x, let's put in y there. And so our expression will now be current. So we can say this implies y squared minus 9 y there minus 10 everything equal to 0. Of course this is a quadratic equation so let's solve this quadratically. Let's look at it if we can use the factorization method. Um, the, 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 yes we can use the factorization method. So let's go ahead to use the factorization method in solving this. We bring out the factors of 10 Two numbers from the factors of 10 that when added will give us minus 9 and when multiplied will give us minus 10. 
the two number going to give us here a minus um 10 and plus 1. So here we're going to have this to be y squared minus 10 y plus y minus 10. Everything equal to 0. Now let's take a look at this. Minus 10y plus y will give us minus 9. Then minus 10 times plus 1 will give us minus 10. And so we cannot put this in bracket, put this in bracket. What are the terms that are common to this? Very easy. Here we have y. So y here will give us y. But we use y to divide this y square. Okay. Then minus y divided by 10y. This will give us 10 close bracket, plus what is common here is just 1, the bracket, 1 into y will give us y, minus 1 into 10 will give us 10, everything equal to 0. You discover what we have in the bracket are the same, and so we take this outside terms and one of them inside. So we have here y plus 1, close bracket, bracket, y minus 10 equal to 0. Easy. All right. Now, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. This is Online Mass TV where we learn us having fun. Okay? So if you're new here, subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're watching right now. Let's go. Again. And so, at this point, we apply the zero product rule. We say that we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. So, if we go by that, we're going to have this to be y plus 1 equal to 0 or y minus 10 equal to 0. Of course, this will give us minus 1. So we have y equal to minus 1. Or we have our y equal to 10. So therefore, y equal to minus 1, comma, 10. Okay. So we succeeded looking for our y here now. Mind you, we don't have y at the beginning of our equation. So we go to where we say let y is equal to this. So we take case 1. Now, if you look at case 1, case 1 being minus 1, we give us a problem. So for case 1, there's no solution here. From here, we bring our expression here. So we said 9 to the power of x equal to our y. And what is our y? y is 10. So this is equal to 10. So you cannot equate this to 10. Again, let's proceed from here. All right, so let's go on again. So we have here 9 to the power of x equal to 10. Now, there's no way we can put in 9 here, raise it to a number to give us 10. So that will not work out. And so what we do here is to either align both sides of the equation or we take log to base 10 of the equation. But here, let's take log to base 10. So from here, taking log to base 10, we're going to have this to be log 9 to the power of x, put this in bracket, base 10 equal to log 10 base 10. Okay. So from here, according to the log of logarithm, we say that if you have log your m to the power of k base a, move this exponent backward. So if we do that, so we're going to have this to be k, the dot log your m base a. We can apply that here. So if we apply that to this expression, it does mean we're going to move this exponent x to the back here. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to end up having x dot log your 9 base 10 equal to, and also the log of any number base itself is equal to 1. So if, if we go by that, then log 10 base 10 will give us 1. So here we have this to be 1. Okay. Okay. So, we're looking for x. So, we divide both sides by log 9 base 10. This other side by log 9 base 10 also. This, this will leave. So, we're going to have our x equal to 1 all over log 9 base 10 we give us here 0 0.9542. Okay. So if we use 1 to divide everything we have here, this is going to give us 1.048. 
this is the value for our s that will satisfy this our exponential equation okay i've used this answer to check if it will give us the correct uh, solution i plug it here here and it gave the approximate value to our um, question so if you have learned something from this uh, challenge there give the video a thumbs up okay if you like what is going on here do not hesitate to share with family or friend members members of your crew that need this knowledge again this is all i must tv and my name is jix anemo your tutor okay remember i love you so much all of us at all i must tv love you so much why because you are always there bye for now